My name is Francesca, I'm a senior research scientist in this company, Elagina and Wise. We are a UK-based company. We are based in Manchester, United Kingdom. We were founded in 2014 as a startup at the beginning. This, uh, this is where we are based, is in the middle, in the heart of the city center. Uh, there is a science park where all the startups, the business start the, their development, usually start from university. So we are a spin-off company from the University of Manchester. We went also to BBC, uh, British Broadcasting Corporation, as we are the first optical company to achieve 50 nanometer resolution without using an electron microscopy. This is one of our directors, uh, Dr. Wigo. Yeah, so as mentioned, we were founded in 2014 when Professor Lee, Dr. Wigo, and other academics from the University of Manchester developed a system to uh, achieve, um, to, to go beyond the diffraction limit of 200 nanometer and achieve achieving super resolution microscopy using microsphere system. So these are the two publications that allow the company to start um, so everything started from this idea. It was a lab-based idea that, as, as often happens, uh, developed into a business only a few years later. Um, so Professor Lin Li is our main director, uh, main director sorry, and he is a pioneer of uh, electronic engineering in the United Kingdom. He's a, he's a very well known, he has been fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineers. And at the moment, he's a honorary uh, professor from the university. He's, he's, re he's retired just recently and is fully director of the company. Yeah, so this is the timeline of our company. So the company was founded in 2014 as a startup at the beginning, followed these two publications. Then uh, they decide to turn this microsphere idea into a small lens, which is a lens with a, a microsphere integrated. I will show you in a second what I mean for that. So the first prototype with the first nanoscope for material science was launched in 2017. Then the company was awarded with different grants, as usually happens at the beginning, you need either investor or public funding, um, to prove the concept of nanopatterning in 2017. That's the first product, the Nanoro M, uh, was shipped and updated in 2019. Since then, the company started a partnership with Nikon um, to, um, to develop a systems based on uh, this system based on the small lens. In 2021, just when uh, restriction is in the UK, in the UK for pandemic, um, uh, the, the company was awarded with an innovative UK grant, the reason why I'm here today, to turn this nanoscope for material science is into a nanoscope for bioimaging. So to see if we will be able to apply the same system, the same principle from nanomaterial, from nanos, nanoparticle, nanotechnology into biosciences. So the problem we are trying to solve is, as most of you know, for optical imaging, the lateral resolution only allow, um, uh, optical imaging only uh, allowed a la lateral resolution up to 200 nanometer, axial resolution up to 500 nanometer. What I mean is lateral resolution is, is the, capaci the capacity of imaging um, a sample or like two point distance between each other so, um, perpendicular to the, to the source of light. Axial, longitudinal, sorry, parallel. Um, so what happened that often research development focus uh, their attention on nanostructure below 200 nanometer. So meaning that they have to, um, they have to imp this implies the use of different instruments that sometimes are quite destructive to, the to their sample. So what they're looking for is a solution which is easy, uh, which allows, uh, allows the user to to visualize nanostructure below 200 nanometer. So it's non-destructure, non-destructive, sorry. It's no contact and very handy to use after proper training, of course, but mainly allow the fully color. You will see in a second why and what I mean. And sub diffraction limit. So we're able to see feature below 100 nanometer. This was, has been proved for um, cheap semiconductor samples, which are among our main customer. So the functionality, the small lens, so this is a, a common lens, which is 100, obje 100 times objective lens, is characterized by the presence of, the micro, of a microsphere, which is uh, inserted here, it has been patented from 2018. And so what happened, we have developed this system uh, utilizing the, the power of microsphere at the front lens uh, as a, our, unique, our, our unique, unique objective. 
So this microsphere is characterized by, by a very high refractive index, which allow the, uh, the far field information to be, to be combined into near field information. So what you will see, you will see, uh, you will see structure uh, beyond the refraction, the refraction limit, which is, which is 200 nanometer. We are able to see structure up to 75, sometimes 50 nanometer, depends, depending on the sample, how flat it is, and the kind of imaging you're doing. So the solution, the first one is uh, called NanoRM. So this, this is the microscope I mentioned before, uh, which was developed and launched in 2019, updated in 2019, just before pandemic. Um, so how is characterized? This is our, our software. So here you can save the imaging. In, here on the right, uh, uh, yeah, on the right hand side, um, this system allowed the, the light, which is, uh, which is comparing a light source modulator here to um, be concentrated only in the small lens. Um, so it's, it's very easy to use. Uh, we have a joystick as well, so it's, uh, it's automatized. And uh, you can control the pace of your course as well. So in this video, you can have probably an overview of how the software works. Um, so I can just accompany on the video. So these are some of our imaging. This was collected three, four years ago. So you will see here a hundred times magnification of, yeah. So what you can see here, this is an, an, what you can see with a hundred times. Then if you're focused in a region of interest, you can magnify and really get what you cannot get with a hundred times. So this is how works the software is in live has been recorded. So here you can control the pace, which you can decide from this cursor. And then you can, this is at the moment is X, Y. So we are not scanning in Z. So it's, you, can only, you can only get X, Y images as this is the main uh, uh, inquiry for our customer. So as you saw before, you could see below 100 nanometer. So this small lens is compatible with Nikon, but it's also compatible, compatible with certain adapter with lots of other microscopes, for example, Olympus, Leica, and Zeiss. We have, we have already used before. So you, you can see here, we have, a, we, are, we have like pattern 81 nanometer. This is really important, depends on the company is looking for. And this is our camera, and this is the system I can show you later on. So this was the first solution, which was called NanoRM, is our, our own brand microscope. Of course, this is built around the functionality and the, tech, the, the, the feasibility of these small lens. So the small lens is called small, small stands for super resolution microsphere amplified objective lens, which allows any microscope compatible with the, with the lens to achieve super resolution uh, without only, only, you know, only with, more, with, the, with the cost of the lens. So usually um, what customers say, they say that obviously they get the, the, the best resolution with small lens with the tailored NanoRM system. So we have ava available, uh, so we, we, our, our lenses are either oil, water, uh, but also dry sample. Uh, sorry, al also dry lens for, uh, for dry samples. The other solution we found is, uh, this is mainly for, uh, I'll say, yeah, for uh, RD, for nano, nano, nanotechnology, more than bioimaging, this one. So it's an LV mode, which is a light modulator, which can be uh, adapted to any uh, transmission light microscopy to allow, uh, the, um, to allow the reflection mode here from the top. And this reflection mode has a, um, this light modulator as an iris control, a diaphragm control, which allows the microsphere to, be, uh, to get the maximum performance. And the first solution is now for bioimaging when we're just starting. So I just moved to the company at the end of 2021, only a few months ago. Um, so um, these allow as a wor longer working distance, still needs some adaptation, but uh, we have been testing already in different biosample tailored for this nano, nano uh, for this small lens and allows to get the super resolution. So we have two different small lens, one for life science application, only one uh, microsphere. Plus, we are developing now a multi-sphere. So, depends on sample, depends on your uh, your own research. What you are more interested in, you can focus your uh, you can focus your cell in a region of interest, and you can try to to see if you can find more more structure. If you want to identify nuclear power complex, anything. But you, we can see in a second what I mean. 
The field of view depends. It can be between 30 and 60 micron. So each, each small lens, I'll say, small tailor for each research. And each like field of study or topic. So the current, which is not patented yet, but as I'm speaking, my colleagues are in the process of patenting, so we'll be patenting in the next few weeks. So they're meeting some, uh, some uh, uh, regulatory body in the United Kingdom today, so we'll be patenting soon. So this is the first prototype, so it's not cheap. It's not, it's, as you see, it's, it's still for RD at the moment, so it's not, it's not able. But uh, the difference with the other microscope, with the nano -M, so this is, uh, has also the Z stage, but it's not automatic, it's manual. The XY is automatic and has a, has a double, double illumination system. Uh, so uh, reflex, refraction, uh, reflection, sorry, and, and transmission. So, and you can, of course, uh, use any of, uh, of these lens because they're tailored for that. Uh, so now some imaging to show what I mean. So this were, was done in semiconductor samples, uh, in chips, uh, micro, microchip samples. So we can see the difference here between the same sample, the same uh, uh, region of interest with 100 times and uh, with the small lens. What you see, this, this pattern maybe don't tell you anything, but for RD purpose, for this kind of company, they are able to, uh, they cannot disclose what they are doing, but we believe that they work also with credit card, so it's very important for fraud, for example, just to give an idea. Another example here, so you can see a, a really bright and a higher illumination, um, so we can see similar to the other sample, um, and another one. You can see in fully color, nice and, and nice and bright. You cannot really distinguish pattern and distance here, but you can you can do with no problem here. You can actually measure and you can assure it's gonna it's gonna be around 80 nanometer. Uh, yeah, so this is to show, for example, the, the, the zoom more man magnified here. We can see it's around 50 nanometer. Um, so these are microchip, uh, yes, imaging using a dry small objective lens. Uh, they are all done in uh, an upper microscope. These are done, have been done all in our uh, current nanoroan microscope. Uh, sorry, upright, I mean. Yeah, this was done with uh, MATLAB, but this is showing the accuracy of the resolution up to 60 nanometers. This was, uh, was a computer from our software engineer, so to show that how accurate was the, uh, was the imaging, so that we are, we are really getting what we are mentioned is 80 nanometer and 60 nanometer here. Mm. Uh, another sample when was compared, that was like done three, four years ago. Uh, let's say three years ago, was compared uh, when compared with electron microscopy, we get really similar uh, similar results without without dealing with all the sample preparation um, than uh, that electron microscopy implies. So the difference here is in fully color. Uh, yeah, this is some imaging. Uh, sorry, I just came to water. So um, since when I started, then. Uh, last year, so we tried to apply the same principle to bioimaging, has not been easy to be fair, but um, we can get some re good results. We can, we want to apply the same, the same principle of um, getting imaging with 100 times magnification and small lens to see what we can obtain, uh, what difference we can see. These are just bacteria that are not stained, they're just, stained, just the cytoplasm is stained. But if you want to interact, if you're interested in see, for example, any nanostructure here, after proper sample preparation, the small lens is proving that, uh, so I just proved the, product, the proof of concept, so it can be applied to bioimaging sample. Same here, these are plant science, so I'm a plant scientist, so I, I'm actually interested in this part. So these are stomata, uh, so these are stomata from, from water, li water lily. So what, for example, uh, plant scientists are interested in, in general, is looking at plasmodesmata. Plasmodesmata's bridge connect to the cell wall, um, they are interesting either for pathogen response, for pathogen resistance, but also for abiotic stress. So these are very very tiny pores which allow the molecule to diffuse between cells, and they are usually between around 50 nanometer. So this can be, for example, a field of application, as I mentioned before. Mesophyll are uh, these cells usually you can find at the bottom of the cell, uh, in um, yeah even in the stomata region. Somata, as we know, they are pores which allow the diffusion of, uh, of gas, but also they play, a, they, they play a role in pathogen response. But 
what I meant, what I meant before was like we can use it either for plasma desmata or to see any vesicle in plants, for example. If you look for plants response uh, to pathogen, the usually there is an interaction, so you can see you can really apply the lens to, to different regions. These are uh, anti tubulin so these are HeLa cells uh, uh, provided from the University of Manchester by Imaging Hub. So we, we were interested in see if you could see individual filament of um, microtuber and we could actually see a huge difference between the undertized ma magnification and the small lens. Also when compared with their uh, confocal system with a 63 times lens. So these are other cells I have uh, collected, uh, sorry, these other imaging I've collected last few months. Just to give an example, these are robot follic follicles. Uh, we can, uh, it's the same one in the poster, you can have a look later. Uh, is, we can really see a clear difference between the hundred times magnification and the small lens. Uh, the other sample are endothelial cells. Uh, so again, you can, if whatever you're interested in, like blood cells, for example, you can really see clear compared with a uh, hundred times. So just try to think any, any, any application to your current day to day research, what you're interested in, you will find that might be relevant to your work, for example. Uh, they are ophthalmology, so these are other sample. They are all sample provided, so it's not sample I prepared. I'm only imaging, <laughs> so it's with our uh, third party collaborators. So these are eye tissues. It's just to show you really the functionality of the small lens, how how well works on the uh, on biological sample. There is some limitation too. I'll say work better in upright system than uh, than inverted one for the moment. But we are still in the first step for bio imaging, so it's a uh, we're really confident that we're really be able to show very good progress in the next few months after the probably with an, an update to the system. So to summarize, the advantage of our technology is that um, we are able to achieve the super resolution down to 50 nanometer for semiconductor sample imaging in color and the system in complementary to uh, the scanning electron microscopy. Um, so can be either competitor or complementary, depends on what you're looking for. Um, this is a non-contact and non-invasive technique, so it's contamination free. Um, so allowed to be to work in any system with no problem, it's not creating any issue in the lab. Uh, so there is improved pr productivity, so we, you don't need any special preparation requ required like a vacuum pump or conductivity. Uh, it's feasible for either live cell imaging, epifluorescence, uh, light transmission and uh, for fixed samples, so it works really well. Uh, I also test in confocal microscope with compatible uh, thread, so you need an adapter when one of your le the lens is not fitting. Uh, so it works really well as well. I have some some example as well. Uh, so it's really easy to use. After uh, honest, there is like a video training provided. The colleagues are always available to train people, and it's really uh, with the software is much easier. Without the software, so when the, the lens use independently not combined with our microscope, it's a bit challenging at the beginning, but then you'll see it's, it's just a matter of, uh, um, of usage. So our partner at the moment are Nikon, as I mentioned, for providing the lenses, University of Manchester, uh, the Bioimaging Hub for providing um, samples by Bioimaging, University of Granada is for nanotechnology, for nanoparticles, Samsung is one of our partner and customers as well. And these two are Chinese company. They're interested in uh, working with credit card to, to, so this is more for, I mentioned before, for the previous part of the research, for the first part of the research for the um, RD nanoparticles, um, semiconductor sample. So what our users say, they were quite impressed. So from the University of Manchester, uh, this was for, for uh, silicon, for photonics device images. Um, also Samsung, they were really interesting. So we are really, we established ourselves already in Asia and in the United Kingdom as well with different, with different uh, customers and collaborators. So we're trying just to expand a bit more to Europe now. The, the company as you see is, is young, it's only eight years old. So um, there will be just a matter of time, we probably will be more known abroad. Um, yeah, I think I finished before, but yeah. <laughs> um, the, so for any inquirer, um, so if you're interested in chat later, so because we have more time, we can have a chat later, I can show you, probably have more time to show you the lens. Um, for uh, any inquiry, please write my email, or if you want to send any sample, if you are interested in receive some, in receive some, lens, some lens, one lens, for example, for free to get some imaging for collaborator, this is our number, uh, website, and this is our uh, inquiry for, uh, 
to ask more information. So we are based in Manchester, unit 15, in the middle of the city. Uh, this is my colleague, the one producing the lenses, doing his job. Right, thank you for your attention.